Crazy Life Scotland and another B&M haul. There seems to be B&M shops opening everywhere just now. They are just popping up like hormonal spots. Everywhere I turn, there's a new B&M shop. So I can't help it. I have to go to them. It's one of these things, if I hear there's a new one, I need to go. So when one of my viewers told me that there was a new one opened in the old Toys R Us in Govan near Ibrox, I thought, oh, I need to bear that in mind the next time I'm going to be there. And it just so happened that I was in the area yesterday and I had to go in. It's like an addiction. It's like I get to a b and and all of a sudden I'm under hypnosis and I go in not knowing what I'm doing and I come out and I suddenly come to again in the car with my purse £30 lighter or in yesterday's case £50-odd lighter. I think we should start up a Bargains Anonymous because home bargains is the same. Every time I'm near one I go in, spend money and come out and then think, what did I just do? <laughs> is anybody else the same? Let me know, comment below. Anyway, I have got my receipt so I will tell you the price of things as we go. And I'm going to try something a little bit different this time because I got a few things I've never tried before. So quite often when I'm watching hauls and there's things that people have never tried before or new things, I think to myself, oh, I wonder if they liked it. I wonder what that was like. So I know whether to go out and buy it or not. So I've got a few things in this haul that I've not tried before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim to try them all before I edit this video so that I can then sort of review things for you. So after everything that I show you that's new, I'm going to put in a small clip and it's going to either have a thumbs up with a cheer, a thumbs down with a boo, or a meh if it was okay, but I wouldn't rush out to buy it again. Just to see how that works, okay? And then you can let me know at the end whether you liked it or not. Let's get into it. Again, as always, I'm just going to pull things out of the bag randomly. Like I said, Abby was there with me yesterday, so having the team there, a few extra things did slip in the basket. And also, it is Brooke's birthday in a couple of weeks, so I wanted to pick up a couple of things that I can wrap up for her. Her main present is a surprise that she's not getting to know about until the actual day um, of the surprise, which is two days after her birthday. She knows there's a surprise, but she doesn't know what it is. So I do want a couple of gifts that she can actually open on the day of her birthday. Anyway, you didn't need to know that. Let's get into the haul. I got two carrier bags full this time because I forgot to take my bag. I only came in for one thing bag. Trust me. Right. Now, we're starting off with a new thing. And it's limited edition chocolate orange shreddies. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you know how I feel about chocolate orange. I love everything chocolate orange. So when I saw this, I had to try it. I did try the raspberry and white chocolate shreddies from B&M and they were just meh. They were okay. They didn't particularly taste of raspberry or white chocolate, but they were nice enough and I did eat them. So I'm hoping that these are going to be a thumbs up. They were £1.50 for the 460 gram box. So, did I like them? Future Fiona, let us know now. <laughs> that feels a bit daft. Right, so Freddy's. Next. Every time I'm in B&M's now, I'm going to pick up a packet of the Fabulosa wipes because it's the only place you can get them. And I do go through a lot of cleaning wipes with Loman's tray in the bathrooms and things like that. So... Someone had recommended I try the Rainbow Drops ones, so that's the ones that I picked up this time. I do like the Fabulosa wipes, I have to say. I like the full Fabulosa range, to be honest. Um, I'm going to open them to see what I think of the smell, because I've never smelled the Rainbow Drops. Ooh, that's lovely. Oh, it's very fruity. I do like that. And just a little tip for you, probably everybody knows anyway, but I always store my wipes upside down because that way the liquid, the disinfectant stuff that's in there gets evenly distributed amongst all the wipes. I don't know if you ever go to open your wipes and the ones at the top are really dry and the ones at the bottom are soaking wet, that's why. So I always store them that way and it helps to distribute the, the liquid. Just a wee tip. These were... £1.49 for the pack of 80 wipes and like I say, I do really like them. Right, this next product is one of the things that I picked up for Brooke's birthday. So she loves M&M's and she loves cookie things. So I saw this new M&M's cookie bar 
and decided to get her to try and does it say has it got a description it just says milk chocolate with m&ms minis and cookie pieces this was a wee bit more expensive i think one pound 49 for this bar it's a 165 gram bar but i'm pretty sure things like that are really quite expensive in the supermarkets so and because it's for our birthday i thought i would pick that up this i won't be able to tell you what i thought of it because i won't be trying it until her birthday which is uh, the 21st of May and yes I will be trying it I'll make sure she lets me have a bit so in a future B&M haul if I do repurchase it I'll let you know it's a repurchase and that it was good Galaxy White Hot Chocolate Pods for the Dolce Gusto you know I've still not tried that yet my mum drinks them all Granny Annie always drinks them she loves them she makes a mocha with just the Americano coffee for the Dolce Gusto and then adds the White Chocolate Galaxy and really enjoys it I've only ever seen the white chocolate galaxy pods in B&M and from there they are £3 for the box and you get eight in it. Now I managed to break my soap dish when I was cleaning the bathroom the other day. When I went to put it back down on the sink, I missed the sink and it hit the floor and it broke. So I needed a new soap dish and I thought I'm not going to replace the whole lot of dishes and everything. I'll just get a new dish. And I saw this and thought it was lovely. Look, look at the glittery sparkle. I really like that and my bathroom sort of greys. So yeah, I thought that was perfect. And that was £3. Pretty much all of their um, soap dishes were £3. But yeah, I really, really like that. This is something else that I picked up for Brooke's birthday. She's getting into painting her nails now. And I saw these and thought it looked really, really good. It's a gel effect nail polish with top coat. But you don't need any UV or LED light. And it says you get high gloss shine in minutes. So I thought, we'll give it a go and see what she thinks of it. It was only £1.49. And just as an extra little gift for her to open on her birthday, I thought that would be fab. So when she does put that on, I will show it in one of the vlogs. Another birthday thing for Brooke. She loves Harry Potter. If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you'll know she loves Harry Potter. So I picked up this pack of notepads and it's just got the generic Harry Potter um, logo thing on it. On two of them, they're different colours and then the other one's got Hogwarts and different little icon things from um, Harry Potter and there is a space on these two notebooks to put her name as well and for three pound for three little notebooks I thought that's perfect she loves doodling in class uh, one of the ways that she concentrates when people are uh, talking to her is by sort of doodling or playing with things because she's got Asperger's so when she's doodling that's her concentrating it looks like she's not listening to you but she is so yeah, I've got them for her for her birthday. Another little thing to wrap for her birthday because she doesn't get them very often because they, are, they can be quite expensive is a white bueno. She loves them, but it's always a treat when she gets her white bueno. She doesn't get them as a matter of course. Now we've got the two packs in there, which is equivalent to six bars apparently, according to the wee thing. And that was, actually it wasn't too bad. It was £1.29 which isn't too bad considering you're getting the two packs of them. <laughs> if you wonder why I'm looking, loaming the kittens lying on my wheelchair watching every move that I make. There is something in here for you actually, Loman. You might get one if you play your cards right. Next thing I got was these caramel logs. Now, in a recent vlog, I had got caramel tea cakes because Christine had put me in the mood for them. And a lot of people had mentioned that they love the caramel wafers that Tonnocks do. And I was like, I'm not keen on the caramel wafers, but I love a caramel log. So when I saw them in b and I had to pick them up. They are a bit like a caramel wafer, but they've got loads of coconut on the outside of them. And oh, they're just so, so good. And that was a pound for the five bars. Oh, I thought these were so cute. I needed some A4 wallets to keep my loose pieces of vinyl in. And when I saw these, I had to pick them up. Wait, I'll open it and let you see. It was £1.75 for four of them. So you get two of them like that with lots of different doggy heads on them. And it's just the, the popper type wallet that you can store things in. So you get two of those. 
and you get two of the pink with the pussy cat heads. And in this house we have dogs and cats. So two of those and two of the ones for the dogs and I just thought they were so cute for £1.75 and they're very practical too. I've run out of my micellar water so I picked up, I just picked up one of that. It's not a particular make but it was only a pound for that and that is a 200ml bottle whereas the Garnier one was I think 100ml for a pound and I thought it's pretty much all the same stuff isn't it? It does the same job so I thought I'm getting double the amount for the same price. So yeah, that's what I got. If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you'll know that I love the Skinny Food Co products and I always have an affiliate link in the description of all of my channel, uh, all of my videos. So if anybody's wanting to buy anything from Skinny Food Co, I really appreciate it when they use my link because it gives me a couple of pennies and it doesn't cost them any extra. But a lot of the Skinny Food Co products are now available in the likes of B&M and yesterday I spotted this. So it's the Barista Salted Caramel. I love their coffee syrups. I really, to me, they're better than the Jordan's ones. The Jordan's Skinny Syrups. Sorry if you're moving. The cat is now playing with the cable on the tripod. Lomond. It always sabotages my videos. Oi. <laughs> so yeah, when I saw this, I thought I'm going to have to pick that up. It's the Salted Caramel and they had it in the hazelnut flavour as well. But the size of it, how much is in here? It's a wee 60ml bottle but it's perfect for popping in my handbag so that if I'm going out somewhere for a coffee I can just pop some of that in it. And the price was $1.99. Now I'm not sure how much it is on the Skinny Food Co website um, because I don't normally get the wee ones like this. I normally get the big bottles but I, um, I think $1.99 is a decent price. I will check and put it in when I'm editing how much it is on Skinny Food Co website. So that, and I do know that I like another product that I know that I like. You know what's coming, don't you? Da -da -da -da! Chocolate Orange Galaxy. Love, love, love it. One of my favourites. I get it every time. I think it's still a pound in B&M. Yep, still a pound in B&M. It is cheaper in Home Bargains, I think, but I was in B&M. And I already know that I love it, but I'm still going to do this. Sorry, I couldn't help it. I just love it. I'm going to bring the bag up now. It'll be easier. Another product that I haven't tried before, and it was quite expensive, but I wanted to try it because I love coconut, was the Dairy Milk Limited Edition Coconut Rough. So, I am, um, when I do try it, I'll pop a wee, a wee, um, video bit on the screen to let you see what it looks like, but it feels like it's in some mini chunks and it was it's definitely came from abroad because it's got the nutrition label put on top of it it might be one of the imports from america because we were at another shop yesterday we were at a place called tubbies and they had a lot of american imported sweets and things like this were in with it so it could be an american import i'm not sure if any of my american viewers are watching or canadian viewers let me know if you get this in your country. Oh, it might be Australian because it says on the on the receipt Aussie CAD as in A-U-S-S-I-E. Oh, it might be Australian. I know I've got some Australian viewers. Please let me know. Is this from Australia? Oh, that would be exciting. Um, and it was £1.29 for the bar. So yeah, it is more expensive, but I really wanted to try it. Let's see now what I thought of it. Now, I picked up these Hershey's bars. They were only 49 pence each, so I got the cookies and mint flavour, the sprinkles and cream flavour, and the strawberries and cream flavour. So, let's find out what I thought of them now. It was just meh. last things in this bag before we go on to the next one is another couple of new things that I haven't tried before. The Kick 
Cat Gooey Caramel, which looks lovely. That's got a label on it as well. I wonder where all these things are coming from. And Kit Kat Mint Cookie Fun. Now, I love a Kit Kat and I love these flavours as well. So hopefully they're going to be good. And these were... It says Aussie again. Am I getting this wrong or are they Australian? Please, please let me know, my viewers in Australia. Are these Australian as well? Oh, that would be exciting if we're getting Australian things in. I would love to go to Australia. Anyway, these were £1.29 each. So again, a wee bit more expensive, but you need to try them, don't you? You need to try these things. Next bag is quite heavy. This will be why it's heavy. I was needing conditioner for my washing and I fancied a wee change because I use the Comfort strawberries and whatever it is all the time and I thought oh, I fancy a wee change. So I was feeling happy so I picked up the Lenore Happy. I thought why not? I've not smelled it before. Let's see. Oh that's nice. Very fresh. So yeah, we'll give that a go and see what we think. Again, I will let you know. So it's Burst of Sunshine Happy 52 Washes for $2.99. Now, <laughs> I usually clean the oven just with a spray and a wipe and that's it done. However, if you watched one of my recent vlogs, you might know that I set my cooker on fire. I put bread under the grill and maybe left it a wee bit too long. And when I went back, there was flames pouring out of the cooker. So, I have managed to get rid of the smell of burning from the house, but the oven still stinks. So I decided to pick up a proper oven cleaner. So I got the Elbow Grease Oven Cleaning Kit. Now, as you can see, it's open because I've got it working at the moment. I've got the trays. It's one of these things that you get the solution and you get a bag. So I've put the two trays in the bag and two thirds of the solution in with it. And then that sits for two hours and then you, you kind of tilt the fluid about again and leave it for four hours. And I've put the remaining solution in the actual oven itself and that gets left for four hours and then it all gets cleaned up. So I'm hoping that this is going to help to get rid of the smell of the burning because everything that we cook in that oven is going to taste of burning probably. Um, and this was, that was only $1.99. Um, and like I say, it's not something that I would use all the time because I'm quite happy just giving it a squish and a clean. But for times like this where you're really needing a deep clean of your oven, I will let you know if it's any good now. Skinny Whips now, I do love a Skinny Whip. I got one pack of the orange chocolate, of course, and I got two packs of the mint chocolate because Abby wanted one, so a wee extra one got slipped into the basket. She's already got that one. And these are a pound a box for the five bars, and they are just nice low calorie sweet treats. The chocolate orange one is 98 calories per bar and the mint one is 97 calories per bar and I'm going to try and be good again because I'm piling the weight on again so I'm going to try and just have like a low calorie sweet treat through the week if I need it and then I'll have like all of these things at the weekend. I don't think that counts. <laughs> calories don't count at the weekend do they? <laughs> I know that I like the skinny whips, so I don't need to put a thumbs up, thumbs down. It's, it's a thumbs up. Abby was needing shampoo and conditioner, so she picked up her favourite one, which is the Tresemme Colour Protection. And um, yeah, it's the 900ml bottles, and they were £2.69 each. I think they're about the same price in Asda now, to be fair. Um, they used to be cheaper in B&M, but I don't think they are now. Although in saying that, I think Asda are putting their prices up as well. So it'll be interesting to have a look. If I have a look on the website, I'll pop the prices that it is in Asda on the screen for you just now as well. And again, we know I used to use it as well and Abby likes it. So that is definitely, it's a repurchase. We're nearly there, folks. We're nearly there. This is something that wouldn't have gone in my, ba my basket if Abby hadn't been there. But it does look quite good. It's the Swizzles Rocky Road Candy Kit. So the girls every now and again like to do some baking together 
and this one's actually no baking required. It is basically drumstick squashes and rainbow drops and chocolate pieces. Is it chocolate pieces? No. It's basically drumstick squashes and rainbow drops and chocolate. You melt the chocolate, mix in the rainbow drops and then top it with the drumstick squashes, I think. So no baking required, which is even better because that way we won't risk burning the house down again. <laughs> Although to be fair, that was me, not them. And it gives you eight servings. And that was £1.59, so that's not bad. It's a good rainy day activity, isn't it? If you've got any kids that like to get creative in the kitchen, it's a perfect way of passing the time on a horrible day when you can't get out and about. Another little thing that I got for Brooke for her birthday was the Body Mist Soul Collection. This has got pink grapefruit, vanilla, sweet pea and candy floss. And we all love the Soul fragrances in this house. And for the four of them... It's four times 50 mils and it was 3 99 for that. So a nice wee extra parcel for Brooke to open on her birthday. And the last thing that I got was two packets of treats for the kitten. So I got the Dreamies with Tempting Beef and the Dreamies with Healthy Tuna. And I got two packets because my mum has to keep one in the cabin. Lomond has learned, Lomond's a kitten, and every time Granny Annie, who's my mum, comes in for coffee in the morning, she brings a treat for the dogs. So the dogs go running to her for a treat. Lomond soon picked up on that, and he now goes running to her for a treat as well. So she has to keep treats for him in her cabin so that she can give him a treat when she comes in as well. I swear that kitten thinks he's a dog. So we've got one packet for Granny Annie and one packet for us. Well, we see if he'll come for one. Let's see. These were 95 pence a packet. Let's see if he'll come. Moment. What's this? Come on then. Good boy. Tell me, he thinks he's a dog. Would you like one? Moment. He's purring. Good boy. Good boy. Yay! He definitely likes it. That's a pause up. Pause up from Lomond. Oh, he's purring. Oh, he definitely likes them. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so that is everything from my B&M haul this time. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this new sort of review system where I'm letting you know whether I like them or not. If it's completely crazy and a load of rubbish, I won't do it again. But if you think it's quite fun and you enjoyed it and find it useful, let me know and I will do it again next time. So yeah, I just like to try new things for you. Right, I'm going to head off just now. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It does help my channel. And if you talk to me below, I will always reply to you. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye. Oh, he had the packet in his mouth. You naughty kitten. Oh, here's the dogs coming. Bye everyone.